वेलकम एवरी वन माई सेल्फ प्रोफेसर डी एस मुंडे वर्किंग एज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ प्रोसेसिंग एंड फूड इंजीनियरिंग के के वा कॉलेज ऑफ एग्रीकल्चरल इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी नासिक सो सो फार वी हैव कवर्ड टू लेक्चर्स इन दिस वीडियो सीरीज इन टूडेज वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी screen openings capacity effectiveness of screen and a screen cleaner so this is the content of today's video lecture that is screen opening capacity effectiveness of screens a screen cleaner mm -hmm. screen openings capacity and effectiveness air screen cleaner so what do you mean by screen openings so screens are generally constructed by perforated sheet metal or woven wire mesh the openings in perforated metal sheets are of three types that is round openings oblong openings or rectangular openings so these openings are shown the are shown in this particular uh, figure and the openings uh, depends upon the uh, use of this opening depends upon the the type of material to be processed using these screens if we are going to do separation of a round shaped grains in that case we will use uh, a round shaped Uh, perforated metal screen so these are the three types of uh, openings which are present in perforated metal sheets so we will go in detail with the perforated metal screen openings so first is the round openings so the round openings in a perforated sheet metal screens are measured by the dimension that is diameter which is measured either in a mm or inch okay of the openings for example 1 by 8 screen has a round perforation of 1 by 18 inch in diameter or 2 mm okay so this is the uh, thing we measure while mentioning the round openings in perforated metal shields we designate uh, round openings in a perforated metal sheet screens or sheet by measuring the diameter and diameter should be measured in either in mm or inch and here is the example uh, the second opening is the oblong openings the oblong or or slotted openings in perforated sheet metal screens are designated by two dimensions the first is the width and the second one is the length of the openings so while mentioning oblong openings the width listed first then the length okay so there is a specific pattern or style to designing designate the dimensions of oblong openings in perforated metal screens so the the first we have to mention the dimension width and then length so for example 1.8 by 20 mm so in this 1.8 is the width of opening and 20 mm is the length of the opening so the third opening in triangular uh, in perforated metal screen is triangular opening so there are two different distinct systems used to measure triangular proportions and out of these the most commonly used system is to mention the length of each side of the triangle in mm it means 9 mm triangle has three equal sides as each has a dimension of 9 mm that is length dimension length of each side is 9 mm so this is the common way to designate the triangular openings in uh, perforated metal screen the second type of the screen is wire mesh screens 
In wire mesh screens, there are two types of openings. The first is the square mesh, and the uh, second one is the rectangular mesh. The first we will see the square mesh. The square openings in wire mesh are measured by the number of openings per inch in each direction. For example, a 9 by 9 screen has 9 openings per inch in each direction. So it is very easy to designate, okay, because all the openings uh, in the screen will have same dimensions and the way to measure the number of openings uh, in a wire mesh or to measure the number of openings per in a wire mesh are the these are measured by number of openings per inch in each direction from a specific point in a particular direction how many numbers of squares squares are there and from okay that is measured in while measuring the number of openings in square square mesh so this is the example that is 9 by 9 screen means it has 9 openings per inch in each direction so this is the diagram of wire mesh screen that having square openings and wire mesh screen having rectangular openings so rectangular mesh the rectangular openings in wire mesh screens are measured in the same way as square mesh screens so the measuring the number of openings in a, both the screen uh, the procedure is same but there is a meaningful difference is that the in the wire mesh screens the opening are of a in a square wire mesh screens opening are of a square shape whereas in a rectangular wire mesh screen the opening are of a rectangular shape for example a 3 by 6 rectangular wire mesh screens will have three openings per inch one in one direction and six openings per inch in the other direction okay so because of the shape of the opening whereas in a square openings uh, because of the same dimension of all the sides okay it will have same number of square in each direction per inch so this is not the case with the rectangular wire mesh screens so so the rectangulars formed by the wire mesh are kept parallel to the direction of grain flow so now we will see the ba basic difference between ideal and actual screens the basic purpose of any screen is to separate the field consisting of a mixture of particles of different sizes into two distinct fractions suppose, uh, suppose we are using a single screen in order to make the separation that single screen will make separation into two fractions one is the over size and the other is the under size so th these fractions are the underflow the underflow means the particle which passes through the screen this underflow is also called as a minus material and the second fraction is the overflow or oversize material it is also called as a plus materials that is the materials that remain retain over the screen surface thus a single screen can make the fraction into two depending upon the size alone so a screen can be termed as ideal screen which separates the field mixture in such a way that the largest particle of the underflow is just smaller than the screen opening. So this is, this is the important one to understand. A screen can be termed as ideal screen which separates the material field mixture in a such a way that the largest particle of the underflow underflow means the material will uh, which will passes through the screen opening the largest particle of such material will be just smaller than the screen openings 
okay while the smallest particle of the overflow overflow means the material which is retained over the screen surface screen surface and the smallest particle of such material such overflow material is just larger than the screen opening so this is if such separation occurs such type of screen is called as is term as ideal screen so this is the graphical representation of various flows of screen that is overflow underflow and feed the dp shows the uh, diameter average particle size or diameter of the particle in mm and uh, on the apps on the ordinate uh, cumulative mass fraction of the separation analysis is given and on the abscissa the average particle size of the product is given in mm so so this is the basic difference between ideal and actual screen but such whatever the description of ideal screen is given here so such things is not possible uh, to do in an actual uh, separation process as this is uh, not have uh, this is not possible to achieve 100 percent efficiency of the machine as uh, some of the oversized material will contain uh, some undersized material whereas some undersized will contain some intermediate materials so the next is the effectiveness of screen the screen effectiveness may be defined as the ability of a screen in closely separating the field into overflow and underflow according to the its size so what is the effectiveness of screen it means it is the ability of uh, in a closely separation process to separate the material into two fraction one is the underflow and other is the overflow the material balance in a screen operation can be given um, as follows uh, there are various uh, notations are there that is f o u m f m o m u so where f is the mass flow rate of feed kg per hour o mass flow rate of oversize kg per hour u mass flow rate of undersize kg per hour m f mass fraction of material in feed m o mass fraction of material in overflow m u mass fraction of material in underflow so why after solving this uh, while applying or after applying this ma mass balance to this uh, separation process so we will get the equation that is e is equal to mf minus mu bracket complete into next bracket mo minus mf bracket complete into mo in bracket 1 minus mu divided by in bracket mo minus mu bracket square into in bracket 1 minus mf bracket complete into mf so this is the equation we will get after applying the uh, mass balance uh, to the separation process so this is the important uh, equation uh, number of numericals uh, can be solved in order to find out the effectiveness of screen so the cleaning efficiency so this is another uh, equation which is used to determine the cleaning efficiency or the effectiveness of cleaning so the first is the effectiveness of screen and this one is the effectiveness of cleaning or overall performance of the cleaning operation is found out by using this equation so the effectiveness of cleaning or cleaning efficiency for an air screen grain cleaner as suggested by the bureau of indian standard as in given below that is indian standard c 5817 so according to this the cleaning formula of cleaning efficiency is e in bracket f minus g bracket complete into in next bracket e minus a bracket complete uh, into in next bracket 1 minus g 
whole divided by f in bracket e minus g bracket complete bracket square into in bracket 1 minus f so where e fraction of clean seed at clean seed outlet f fraction of clean seed in field and g fraction of clean seed at foreign matter outlets so in this way we have covered this lecture number three in this particular video lecture in the next video lecture we will continue with the uh, new topic which will be covered in a different part so thank you